This next story is about an incredible new substance. It's called sorbothane. It's also about a champion runner whose career was revitalized by it. Now, what is sorbothane? Watch and you'll see. The simple act of running can severely damage the body, especially during moments of maximum effort. The damage is caused by a phenomenon known as heel strike. It refers to the shock waves transmitted through the body every time the heel touches the ground. Heel strike affects everyone, whether running or even just walking. Athletes, however, suffer the most and the worst from back, spine, and leg injuries caused by heel strike. The shock waves sent through the body cause damage to the soft tissue surrounding the bone. This leads to excruciating pain and sometimes bone degeneration. A company in Ohio is now producing an incredible new invention that may solve these problems. It was developed by material scientist Morris Hiles after a series of bold and revolutionary experiments. Now in the United Kingdom, um, it is permitted to conduct tests on human beings and uh, we are allowed to use ourselves uh, as guinea pigs and this is exactly what happened. To discover the amount of shock that heel strike inflicts, Dr. Hiles had electrical probes surgically implanted into his own legs. The probes measured the exact g-force on the bone and leg while running or walking at various speeds. The results were surprising. It had been thought that running subjected the body to only about one half g of force. In fact, the body must absorb as much as 17 g's. Heil's solution was to create a synthetic substance that could absorb nearly all of that shock for long periods of time and still retain its shape. He patterned the new material after something that has all those qualities, human skin. Since its job is to absorb shock, he called it sorbothane. Um, sorbothane is stored um, very easily, but fortunately for us all, uh, like human flesh, um, it recovers uh, completely. And one of the other very necessary uh, physical properties is that it can um, cope with energy um, absorption in more than one direction. Here's an example of that. The water balloon doesn't break on impact because the water absorbs energy sideways as well as up and down. That's exactly what sorbothane does. Now, clinical tests have shown that a simple plastic cup like this has the same impact resistance as one finger. And as you can see, it doesn't take very much to smash it. So what happens if we take five, in fact, a whole hand's worth? And as you see, it doesn't take much to smash those either. But what happens when we take just an inch of sorbothane and put it on my hand? And let's see how hard we can hit that. Now, just in case you think that uh, I'm not hitting that really hard, um, we've bought uh, NFL footballer Kenny Long in, who's uh, a much larger gentleman than I am, and let's see what he can do. Or have another go. Or and again. And again. Well, if that doesn't convince you, I'm not sure what will. But could I just say at this stage that don't ever try this uh, on your own, because although sorbothane looks very much like rubber, it really is very different. Now, what we've done is we've taken a conventional hen's egg and we've put it into a rubber egg cup. This is a very neat way of making omelettes quickly because it doesn't take very much to break it. Now the blue egg cup is made of sorbothane so we can hit it very much harder like this. And we can even hit it again. And just in case you think that that isn't a real egg, let's try it this way. It's not very difficult to believe that uh, these levels of energy can be detrimental uh, to our own well-being. In the United States, 75 million people suffer with problems of their back and their lower limbs. Many of these problems are caused or aggravated uh, by heel strike. The insertion of some small sorbothane pads uh, into their shoes can reduce the pain level considerably. This uh, will reduce the risk of injury caused by heel strike and reduce the shock waves to the extent that the recovery period after injury is, is shortened uh, considerably. Meet Kitty Consolo. She's a world-class distance runner and a graduate student in exercise physiology at Kent State University. She's running in fine form now and winning races, even though she has an extremely painful injury. Doctors thought at first that Kitty had a bone spur. It turned out that the tendons on the heel of her right foot were severely inflamed. 
Doctors at Kent State Sports Medical Center thought that sorbethane might help relieve the pain that Kitty was suffering. They made a foam mold of her injured foot. The foam mold was then made into a plaster mold, and sorbethane was poured into it to create a special custom insole for Kitty's running shoe. The results were dramatic. Without the sorbethane, I can't even walk that pain. But when I run with sorbethane, it's, it's really a, a natural part of my foot. I don't know it's there, and I continue to run naturally. Without sorbethane, I was really wondering if the 84 Olympics would be a possibility. Now with it, hopefully I'll be able to continue my training and reach my full potential. Mark, we wanted to see a demonstration for ourselves. We see a lot of things on film, but that's why we asked you to come to the studio live and in living color. What are you going to show us today? Okay, well this is just a regular piece, but a thin piece of glass, and I'm going to place it on the desk. You got the glass in place, you can put the sorbethane on top of the glass. Yes, I am. All right. Now is that mallet, uh, Try it on the, table. On the table. That's a real mallet. My goodness, look at that. Oh, that. Just to show you that it really is breakable glass. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it breaks. That's really good. That's good. Now we have one more demonstration to show you. I think, Fran, you've volunteered for this next Well, step, I really didn't want to volunteer, but I, I believe in you, Morris. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to do the... Now, if I do this, it's not going to hurt my you hand, You saw right? the girl in the film. It didn't hurt her foot at all. All right, we're going to see here. You know, if I'd have had this playing football, Mars, I could still be playing, my boy. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. You well, try it. Can I show you how it's really done? You're not going to hit it any harder than that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> and that doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's amazing. Morris, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Morris.